when they know the truth yeah. and just how deceptive this guy was, not just back then, but how deceptive he's being now yeah. about the facts behind this. And when I released that charging document, I was very honest. I said, David, this is your chance, you know, to come clean, to just explain what happened for real, you know, and not to continue yeah. the, the misinformation, you know, right. and uh, his message to me, he doesn't, he doesn't know who I am. I released it all anonymously, you uh -huh. know, just to test the water, you know, that was what we decided to do. That was the way to try to draw him out. And I, when I say we, I'm talking about my journalist buddies here in Austin uh -huh. with me, you know, the guys who do this stuff. And, and we just wanted to see what he would say, or how he would react when the truth was out. And to know mm -hmm. that we really know, that we really went to the file, and we pulled his charging documents. No longer, there's no doubt yeah. that we are smart enough to know where the truth lies. And he should have figured it out, in my mind. You know, I, he, just, he must think he's just that much ahead of us. Or that much smaller. Yeah, well, he, he, he does. No, he's stuck too. No, he, he he's a classic, you know, social path. He thinks he's smarter, and um, uh, he can outsmart. He, he, I don't think he knows the truth. If it hit him square in the head, yeah. And um, I'm sure there's a lot of other skeletons in his closet that uh, police agencies don't know about. Um, all I know is, now that I know he's out on the street trying to be somebody, um, if we have any cold cases to look at, uh, he, he'd be a good suspect. And we should have, I don't know, but we should have, now that he's a registered sexual offender, there should be some DNA on file. Do they have to provide a specimen? That's what I wonder. And that's yes. what, that was one of my questions here was, do we have any evidence stored from the original cases? You know, is there any physical evidence that might mm. be susceptible yeah. to uh, um, I'd rate? have to look into it, but I suspect there may be. Specifically, the ladies who were never gotten justice for. Right, ladies. because there were some ladies that um, would not be able to. Uh, identify him because of the trauma, but if you had DNA uh, left over, that would be uh, really. How did the good deal. Uh, How did the witness who uh, was that he was convicted of assaulting? How did she recognize him, or how did she? I, how clear was she on who did this? You know, the, if I remember correctly, my case, uh, my case. The, uh, the, uh, the victims, one of the victims that I showed my photo lineup to, uh, no, we actually did a, uh, uh, an actual physical lineup that you would do, like on television. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my victims were all sent to that lineup, and then Houston, Houston had a victim, you know, there. This lady here. Probably, I think she's the one who identified uh, 